My name is Brian Pickowitz with LEA Professional, and today I'm going to run you through our brand new LEA Connect Series. One is the LEA Connect Network Series, the other is the LEA Connect Dante Series. From a feature set, spec, power standpoint, they're both identical. Uh, one has Dante, uh, one is just network control and monitoring with Amazon. So, if you look at the feature set, um, this is an install amplifier. So, on the front panel itself, there's no power button no knobs to turn, no mutes. Uh, you just need a display and some status indicators. On the rear of the unit, um, you know, very install focused. So it's got the, uh, the barrier strip type connectors, uh, analog inputs, uh, network control and monitoring, Dante primary and secondary, plus a few other features for install. So I'll walk you through the features on the back panel here. So starting at the AC input, so this is an IEC connector. Um, all of our LEA Connect series, uh, the 80 watt, 160 watt, 350 and 700 watt versions, all have universal switch mode power supplies, which operate anywhere from as low as 85 volts AC all the way up to 277 volts AC. So with this universal switch mode power supply, as long as you're within that range, the amplifier will operate as normal. So say you're, you're, you are running 220 volts and you have a big AC line swing for some reason and it drops down to 160 volts, the amplifier uh, will automatically adjust and do everything it needs to internally, so you won't get any pops or clicks or any audible differences on the output as long as you're within that range. On the 350 and 700 watt models, um, we have a universal power supply with power factor correction. So in the event to optimize that AC current draw and make sure we deliver the most amount of power from the AC line to the output stage, power factor correction is included in those models. On the IEC itself, uh, we do ship with a non-locking IEC connector, um, but the IEC connector itself on the product accepts locking IEC cords. So if you have an installation or a specification where a locking IEC cord is, is mandatory, um, just check in our manual. Uh, we'll have uh, four approved AC uh, cord vendors with locking options that will, that will work with this, this IEC connector. Uh, moving on to the power switch. Um, so the power switch turns the amplifier on and off, obviously. However, uh, one unique feature uh, that may be beneficial to you is if I take a pair of pliers, I can pull this power, power connector right out. That way you can turn the power on, pull the connector out, nobody can go behind the rack and turn units on and off when it's not desired. So just take some pliers, pull that right out. On the output stage itself, um, this is a four channel model, obviously. We have four power points, so 80 watts a channel, 160 watts a channel, 350 watts a channel, and 700 watts a channel. And it'll do that power range at four ohms, eight ohms, 70 volt, and 100 volt. On the outputs themselves, um, any channel can be selected to either low impedance mode or high impedance mode. So in low impedance mode, um, I can do 2 ohm, 4 ohm, 8 ohm, 16 ohm load, 16 ohm load, anywhere in between, or high impedance, so 70 volt or 100 volt. And that's selectable via the software. And I can select any channel to be anything that I want. So say I wanted to do uh, 70 volt, 70 volt, 8 ohm, 70 volt, I just go into the software and select that which channel is 70 volt, which channel is low impedance, and there you go. So any configuration. Also on the output stage, we have what's called Smart Power Bridge. And what Smart Power Bridge does is it allows us to select any one channel to be my Smart Power Bridge channel, and then I get double the amount of power. So say this is a 700 watt by four channel, I can select this channel to be my Smart Power Bridge channel, and now I'm getting 1400 watts of power out of this channel. So if you think of a traditional amplifier um, that I wanted to bridge, say I had a two channel amplifier, and I turn that into a bridge mode amplifier, I, I go from a two channel amplifier now to a one channel in bridge mode. So with Smart Power Bridge, we give you the ability to select any one channel to be your Smart Power Bridge channel to get the double the power, 
without sacrificing another channel. So in this case, I have this channel as my smart power bridge channel, and I still have channels one, two, and four that I can still send uh, power out to. So I don't sacrifice a channel. Uh, moving on to the analog inputs. Uh, so these are balanced analog inputs that with adjustable input sensitivity. So we have uh, 24 and 36 dB of input sensitivity. Um, and you also get the ability of having input trims on each individual input. These knobs here, um, those are your output attenuation knobs. So you can adjust your output attenuation up and down. And then in the future, uh, in the very near future, we're gonna have a firmware update where in the software, I'll be able to lock those out. So when you're installing the product, you can set your attenuation values to where you need, go into, go into the web UI software, and then lock those out. That way, anybody who gets behind the rack and tries to turn that zone up or down, uh, these knobs will have no value when they're locked out. Uh, moving over here, uh, this button turns the amplifier into a Wi-Fi access point. So there's three ways to connect to this amplifier. Number one is a Wi-Fi access point. When I press this button, uh, the amplifier itself turns into a Wi-Fi access point. And just like you would with any other device, you would go to your network settings, find the Wi-Fi network, connect to it, and then now you're connected to the amplifier. The second way to connect uh, is right next to it in this Cat5 connection. Uh, so we accept DHCP, uh, static IPs, anything like that. But also what we support, which is fairly unique, is uh, that Cat5 connection also supports PoE, or Power Over Ethernet. So one of the benefits of Power Over Ethernet with this device is what we do is we keep the network board alive, network and monitoring board alive. So in the event of an AC power loss, if you have PoE on your Cat5 connection, the network board's kept alive, so we can still monitor all the sensors. So in the event of an AC power loss, for example, um, a lot of the other amplifiers in the market, they basically just go to offline mode. You have no idea that you lost AC power, you have no idea what happened. Whereas with PoE, you can actually tell there was a loss of AC power. Or in the event there was an issue internal to the amplifier, um, you could still see, even without AC power, you could see the, what the issue is, because we keep all the sensors and everything alive. So that's the second way to connect via the Cat5 connection. The third way to connect is I can connect these amplifiers to the local Wi-Fi network. So for instance, we have LEA Professional Wi-Fi network. Um, I can connect this or a multitude of amplifiers to the local network. That way, I don't have to run Cat5 connections. I don't have to have a, a separate switch that connects all my amplifiers. Um, I can just connect them to the local Wi-Fi network. Um, and then that way I can be able to control and configure multiple amplifiers. So some of the benefits there are if you do um, have the amplifiers in a location where you don't have a network switch or a local rack, um, say just in a closet in a restaurant or a bar or pub, um, you can connect multiple amplifiers to the Wi-Fi network uh, without having to buy or use an extra external switch and count by cables. So a couple of unique features there. Um, wrapping out the features on the back panel, um, you, on the Dante models, we also have Dante primary and secondary. So the Dante module they were using is the uh, uh, Dante Broadway module, um, 8x8 module. Um, late, it's the latest and greatest from Odd and 8 on the Dante side of things, so it does support all the latest and greatest features like Dante, Do Dante Domain Manager and a few others. Um, also, with this module, we can support AES67. So you just go into the Dante controller, flip up a switch, flip it back from Dante over to AES67 and back. Well, thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us on our YouTube channel to see more latest and greatest videos. We're going to continue to update that um, more often, so definitely look there. Also, make sure you subscribe to our other social channels, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, we continue to update that almost on a daily basis, so for the latest and greatest news from LEA, make sure you follow us there. Thank you for watching.